Yes. So um, this is video two, and I want to thank you guys for being here with me. And uh, before I get into all the stuff, I have a lot of people that ask me, well, how did you lose 100 pounds? Well, how did you get rid of this? Well, how are you controlling your diabetes? Um, you know, how are you finding the energy to do this? And, you know, on and on and on. I get all these questions, um, mainly from friends who haven't seen me in a while or my neighbors who see the transformation and what's going on. <clears throat> and I'm going to try to keep this um, under or around 10, 15 minutes. Um, but um, I can't promise anything. Um, and one of the main problems that I have with this question is that unless you know how something works, you can't fix it. Um, if you just take your car to the mechanic and drop it off and say, here it is, uh, you know, you need to tell them what sound it's making or what it's doing. And if you take it to a mechanic that has no idea how a car works, it could be something as simple as the car is out of gas. And if he doesn't know what to do, then he can't fix it. So you have to know how your body works first and foremost before you can do anything. People get on diets, people try all sorts of stuff. Every week I will go to the health food store and I'm always stuck behind some woman or some man that just spent a hundred to hundred fifty dollars on basically junk. Supplements that I know for a fact is not going to do anything for them, um, you know, pills, um, vitamins that are just not going to work. So I guess the first thing you need to learn is about your body. And um, just with like with anything in life, there's always opposites. There's yin and yang. There's male and female, up and down, cold and hot. There's always opposites. And with your body, it's the exact same thing. There is alkaline and there is acid. Alkaline is very soothing and uh, acid is very erosive, very corrosive, very, it just tears up everything it touches. I mean, you could, you could go outside and you could get a little bit of uh, battery acid on your shirt, your shirt is gone. If it gets on your skin, it'll burn you. And um, when you go to the doctor, everybody says, well, I'm going to the doctor because I want to be healed. I, I want to be cured. Um, I can tell you right now that doctors cannot heal you and they cannot cure you. They can treat you. They can put a Band-Aid on the issue. They cannot cure you because they just don't know how. All they know how to do is prescribe medication. Um, take diabetes, for instance. You can have diabetes. And they can put you on pills, they can put you on insulin, they can put you on all sorts of stuff. Bottom line is that it's not curing you, it's just putting a band-aid. And underneath that band-aid, the symptoms are still progressing. And yeah, sure, you can take the insulin, but after a while, you're still going to lose your sight, you're still going to lose your legs. You, you know, I mean, everything is still, the, the disease is still progressing because they have not gotten to the, the bottom, the core of the disease and stopped it. Um, so basically, that's what I want to show you today is um, what, how to stop that, how to stop it from ever happening in the first place. So like I said, you know, there's alkaline and there's acid. And the doctors, when you go to see a doctor, they have, they checked the blood. Everything is about the blood. They check your blood pressure. They check your blood sugar. They check your blood for a white blood cell count. Everything has to do with the blood. The thing that I found extremely humorous about this is that your blood only takes up about 25% of your body. The fluid that actually governs your body and your immune system and how you feel is your lymphatic system and your lymphatic fluid takes up 75 percent of your body so instead of focusing on the fluid that 
is going to give them all the answers. They focus on the fluid that only takes up 25% of your body. So, um, with when you're dealing with the acid and the alkaline, there is uh, a scale, just like with anything. There's um, you know there's a weight scale and a uh, there's a pH scale, and these are pH strips, and they're very easy to use. And um, basically what you do is you just take out one of these little strips and you put it up against your tongue and you run it along your tongue and it turns colors. And then you just put it up against the little color chart that they give you on the backhand side. Mine, for instance, is um, 7.0. So... Um, the reason I'm telling you this is because um, any time that you're not in pain and you're feeling great and everything, you're dealing with um, the non-acidic or alkaline side of things. Acid is what causes the pain in your joints and it's what causes the pain in your legs and the pain in your back and the pain in your kidneys and those horrible migraines and um, it makes your lymph nodes swell. It's all about acid. So um, your body is constantly trying to stay at a pH of 7.0 because that's neutral. That's right in the middle. If you go below that, you're starting to hit the acid side. And when you go above that, you start hitting the alkaline side. Um, you want to stay in the alkaline side because diseases cannot survive in an alkaline environment. Um, and that includes cancer. Um, cells just love an acidic environment. And um, so in order for you to lose weight, in order for you to get healthy, in order for you to get better, um, in order for you to get rid of all those aches and pains and those migraines and the swelling and everything else that you want to get rid of, you have to start going over into the alkaline side of things. And um, the things that you put into your mouth um, are either acidic. Everything that you put into your mouth is either acidic or it's alkaline. That's just the bottom line. Um, and not only the food that you consume, but also the, your emotions. Um, love is very alkaline. Hate. Hate is horribly acidic. Forgiveness is very alkaline. Um, anger is very acidic. I mean, you can go along the lines. You can figure it out yourself. I don't have to keep going. <clears throat> but um, the food is the same thing. Um, the more um, meat is extremely, extremely, extremely acidic. It, the minute it enters your body, um, your body starts becoming very acidic. And another food that is very, very acidic is dairy. Um, dairy is extremely, extremely acidic to the body. Um, and the problem is that when you consume these acidic foods, um, something has to happen to buffer this acid. You have to have something to, um, to buffer the acid. And the best thing that your body has to buffer that acid is calcium. So normally after you eat meat or you consume dairy products, um, you literally urinate calcium for a few hours. You're just dumping that calcium out of your body. And um, when you start losing that much calcium and when you have that much acid in your body, um, everything starts to hurt really, really bad. And you know what I'm talking about. And um, your body, in order to constantly protect itself, tries to store these acids as far away, as, it, as for as long as it can, away from your most important organs. As far away as it can from your heart. As far away as it can from your, your kidney, your liver. So it starts to, um, to deposit these acids like in your feet, um, 
you know, you've heard of uric acid and you've heard of gout. And it starts to deposit them in your hands. So there's a lot of people that wake up in the morning and their hands really hurt or their feet really hurt or they have swelling in their feet. Um, so basically you have to understand that concept and you have to go straight to the source of what you put in your mouth is what's causing all the issues in your life. Whether it be gout or cancer or candida or headaches, migraines, back aches, lower, lower back pain, you know, um, if you eat enough meat, meat has a lot of protein in it. And a lot of people are under the misconception that you need all this protein, you need all this protein, you need all this protein. Everywhere I look, people are trying to shove protein down your, down your face, you know, and um, actually the human body only needs 30 grams of protein a day. Anything over that starts taxing your kidneys. So when you've consumed a lot of protein over time, your kidneys have a lot of acid to deal with and it starts taking a toll on your poor kidneys. And when it starts taking a toll on your kidneys, you start having a lot of lower back pain. If you have lower back pain, it is always, always, always your kidneys. No ifs, ands, or buts. Um, and I would have never believed this except for um, I started using a product on my kidneys, which I will be doing a video on, on the kidneys, and I'll, I'll be showing that product. And I started taking the product, and within um, six days of taking that product, which I absolutely love, um, because it really helped me and it stopped me from getting um, dialysis on my kidneys, um, about five days into taking the product, I noticed that um, every time I urinated, there was tons of grit and stones and junk and sand and I was like where the heck is all this stuff coming from it was coming from my kidneys um, you know and your poor kidneys have to work a lot and your heart and your liver and we take everything for granted and um, I'm almost up on time but I think in ending this what I want to say is that you know um, as human beings we spend a lot of time looking for the perfect food for our dog. I mean, we check the back and we want to make sure that it doesn't have junk in it and it's not just full of corn. And we go out and we try to put the best shoes on our feet. And we want the best gas for our car. And I mean, this is crazy. We, we will spend, I've seen people spend $150 on shoes and some of the best clothes that money can buy. And I've seen women spend an outrageous amount for their nails. And I've seen women get extensions that are extremely priced. I know, I, you know, I, I was a hairdresser for a very long time. And um, it just floors me that we don't think twice about what we put into our body. And this is the only body that we have. And if you don't take care of it, you're going to be homeless. So um, I think with that, I, I want to end this video, and, and I hope that I've given you some stuff to think about and start, uh, you know, really taking into account what you put into your body. And I'm going to make some videos helping you to understand, uh, because there's a lot of misinformation out there um, about what's good for you and what's not good for you. And for a very long time, I spent putting things into my body thinking that they were good for me, and they were not. So um, I want to thank you again for joining me. If you have any questions whatsoever or, um, you know, any comments, I'd love to hear them because um, I'm here for you. You know, I'm not here for me. Um, I've already heard myself talk. So, all right, we'll see you next time. Until then, please stay happy and be healthy. Bye-bye.